Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. Okay, this is going to be a video on Mercari. I am going to teach you guys how to list an item on Mercari. I'm going to tell you about the different features of Mercari. Mercari is amazing. If you guys are not utilizing this selling app, you definitely should be. Go through your house, dig through your closet, dig through your kids' toys, dig through the garage, dig in every area of your home because this app is made for you. Um, anyone can sell on Mercari, pretty much anything. So it is one of the easiest apps to use. So easy. And I'm going to show you all of that also. So you're basically going to list your item. You're going to sell it to someone. You're going to ship it. And then you're going to get the money. Ah! So um, I have been selling on Mercari since 2018. I looked it up, April of 2018. And you guys, I have sold over $25,000 on Mercari. Now, I typically do um, free shipping. So shipping cost comes out of that and the fees. And, you know, that is not my profit. But that's just extra money. And I will tell you, I do really enjoy shopping on Mercari. And I know you guys have heard me talk about that before. I like Mercari. I like to buy on Mercari also. So I am someone who sells on Mercari and I also buy on Mercari. So I'm going to start, um, I'm going to show you guys how to list an item on Mercari, but I'm going to show you how to do it from your desktop. I feel like everybody kind of shows the app and I will show you real quick. Um, when you go into the Mercari app, it will say list an item. So you're going to click list an item and it's going to pull up the screen. And this screen looks pretty much exactly like the screen I'm going to show you on the desktop. So when you load your photos through the app, you're going to load them from your phone. I have the photos already downloaded to my computer. So I'm going to show you the desktop version. Now you can see here, all of the same options are on the app. So the app is fantastic, but again, I feel like everybody shows the app and doing it on your desktop is super easy also. And I know some people just prefer like sitting down at a computer and typing it out. So you see the app's the same and I'm gonna show you the desktop. So let's go ahead and pull up a screen share here. And I'm gonna walk you through some of the different features I'm going to show you how to, once you have it listed, how to promote it or send offers. So we're going to talk about a lot of awesome features here. Um, before we start, I'm going to take you here to my profile. And I have sold, I think, nine. well, I have 942 reviews. That is selling and buying. And again, you guys, I've been on Mercari since 2000. And 18. So it took me a while to get that many items that have actually sold. So let's go to right up here. So once you're in your profile, you're going to see right here, it says list an item. And I have my screen big here. So I'm going to take you right here and we are going to upload photos. So it has pulled up my desktop and I already have my photos here. So you guys, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take clear, good photos of your items with lots of detail. And I'm going to show you, whoops, exactly what I am talking about here. So you can have 12 photos. So that is what I'm going to include. And I'm going to do that. And they are going to upload to this page. There they come. Okay, so you can see I've got pictures of the back, which tells which type of batteries these take. And this also tells the brand and all of that good stuff. This is a toy that lights up. So I showed it actually functioning so that people know that it works. Okay, so I'm going to put the title in. It is Shimmer and Shine Wish Granting bracelets, 
toy lights and sounds and I'm going to put dress up because it's kind of like for dress up. Now, the first thing I always do is I copy this and I put it into my description. And then I put see photos for measurements and condition. Now, this is where you're going to put any additional information. If you're selling clothing, I would put like armpit to armpit and I would put the actual measurement. Um, that's just what I do for clothing. Uh, I don't sell a whole lot of clothing anymore. Um, I'm more like hard goods and stuff like that. I just am kind of over clothing. I do from time to time. Uh, let's hashtag it. So I'm going to put bracelets. I'm going to put toy and I'm gonna put dress up. And you can use like shimmer and shine. Really, you can pick whatever you want for your tags. All right, so the category. I am gonna go to toys. And the subcategory, I'm gonna pick, I think there's one that says dress up and pretend play. And then all dress up and pretend play. Sometimes it will grab a category for you, but not all the time. The brand is Mattel, so I'm gonna put that here. It is in good used condition. So you have poor, fair, good, like new, and new. And it gives you a nice little definition so you guys can kind of read those and decide which one works best. The color is optional. This is multicolor. I do wish that they had that option of multicolor, but they do not. So I'm just gonna leave it blank. Your zip code should already be filled in. So here's where it gets a little more, um, I'm going to give you a little more detail here. So you have the option to do Mercari shipping, Mercari local, Mercari local and shipping and ship on your own. Okay, so Mercari local is something that's new. It says sell to buyers in your neighborhood. The driver will pick it up and deliver the item. Perfect for bulky or fragile items. Buyer pays for delivery. So um, you can see right here, for Mercari Local, that starts at $7.99, and it's definitely an option. I have not tried this yet. Um, I typically pick ship on your own just because it's easier for me to, um, I've been doing it long enough that I can kind of figure out my measurements, and then that way if I'm off a little bit, then I can make the adjustments when I actually ship it. So I just build the shipping costs into the price of my item. Now, the bad thing about that is when you build the shipping costs into the price of your item, you're paying more for fees because your fees are based on your selling price of the item. So if you use Mercari shipping, so let's go here to Mercari shipping. Um, I recommendation applied. I don't want to do the recommendation. So let me, why is it not letting me? There we go. It wasn't popping up. Okay, so I'm going to say the weight of this item is two pounds. It may be like a pound and a half. I do believe that it's over a pound. I think that I can get this in an eight by eight by six. Now, my recommendation to you is before you list the item, pre-package it and weigh it so that you know that your weight and dimensions are correct. Okay, so then you're going to select the carrier. And for this, I'm going to choose USPS. And I'm going to click on that. You can do FedEx Smart Post, but then you're going to have to take it into FedEx. And then I am going to hit save. So it is going to cost $12 for the buyer to have this item shipped directly to them. Now, shipping is a flat rate cost to all 50 states. So um, every buyer is paying the same shipping cost. Now, the other option is to do Mercari shipping and local. So you have the choice for the buyer has the choice for both. So if it's somebody local, they can pick local. The, um, the benefits of using Mercari shipping, I do want to go over this with you guys because there are some perks. Um, it's 30% off of retail rates. It is a flat fee to everyone, every state. Um, I did mention that. 
but you also get seller protection on all of your items up to $200. So all of the Mercari labels, if you use them, are covered up to $200. That is fantastic because if you ship something first class, typically it's not going to have insurance unless you add insurance. So Mercari is covering you. So that's great. Um, definitely a perk of using their shipping. Now, if you choose ship on your own, then what you need to do is you need to find a company to, um, you could either go to the post office and they could do it for you, which is a little time consuming. Um, you can find a company to source that um, shipping label from, and then you just put the label on it from that company, and then you add the tracking to Mercari. If you choose Mercari Shipping, that label is going to show up in your email. So if you're a new seller, I recommend doing Mercari Shipping because everything is more cut and dry and it's just simpler. You're not having to go to an outside site to purchase your label. But um, what's great is they give you options. So that is how the shipping works. Now, then you set your price. So I'm going to put $28 on this. Now, I do have the option to do smart pricing. So basically, you set it and forget it, and Mercari drops the price for you. This is another thing that I typically do not utilize, and maybe I should. But if I were to put a floor price on this, I would do $23. That means that Mercari is only going to drop it until it hits $23, and then they are going to stop. But again, I don't use this feature, um, so I am going to turn that off. And then you just hit list, and your item is now listed. Okay, so what does it look like? Here is what it looks like. Shimmer and Shine, it's got my title. It has my description. It's got my tags. Everything is right there for everyone to see. Um, I like free shipping. I like for my listing to show free shipping because I feel like that brings in buyers that only want free shipping because there are some people that search for free shipping and they won't pay shipping. So that is one of the reasons I choose that option. But again, if you're a new seller, I highly recommend using the labels just to keep it simple. Um, do you guys want to do another item? Let's do one more just to make sure that you totally got it. And I'll just do it a little quicker so you guys can actually see how quick it is to list an item. And it's just as quick on the app. Um, so this is a piece of jewelry. Now, ladies, I know you've got jewelry in your jewelry boxes. Go grab it. If you're not wearing it, get it listed. Um, oops, I accidentally um, pulled one of the other photos. Okay, so... I'm going to put my title as vintage, whoops, pressure's on, I can't spell, vintage Christmas tree brooch, um, gold tone, rhinestone pen. Okay. Again, this is just what I do. I copy my title and then I put C photos for condition and measurements. Now, if this item had a defect that I, I would disclose it here, um, but this item doesn't have any defects. It looks good. Um, I do have the actual uh, caliper that I'm using to measure the item that just is a really easy tool to get and it's super cheap for jewelry. Um, I really like to use it to show um, size. Um, okay, so we are gonna put vintage, brooch, and Christmas here. And then the category, suggested categories. I'm gonna pick brooch, vintage jewelry. Um, it doesn't have a brand, so I'm just gonna hit no brand. And then I'm going to say it is in good condition. I'm going to go ahead and put gold here just because it is gold tone. There it is. Okay. I 
Let how about this one? Let's do Mercari shipping because it's a lightweight item. So I'm going to show you. Uh, it might be six ounces. It's probably less than that, but I do usually try to package it safely. Um, so I'll put it in a box or something like that. So that will increase the weight. So I'm going to select the carrier. So it's going to be $4.80 for this item. So I am going to save it. And on the other one, I did ship on your own. But for this one, I'm going to show you how to do it this way. Now, vintage jewelry is, tr it's tricky. It's tricky to price. It's hard to, hard to know how to price things. I know on the app, it will, um, give you a suggested price. I'm not seeing that on the desktop. So that is another advantage of using the app. Um, if there are comparables, it will suggest a price for you. Now, I recommend that you still look things up and try to figure out um, sold prices for like items because sometimes that suggested price is a little bit off. Sometimes it's higher than I expect and sometimes it's lower than I expect. So definitely still do your research and don't just use that. That is more of a helper, but it's not foolproof. Okay, so I'm going to put $50 on this. I'm going to turn off smart pricing. Actually, you know what? Let's leave it on for this one. And I'm going to put my floor price at $42. And I am going to hit list. Okay, so now I have listed two items. This one, it's going to show a delivery fee. So I may lose a potential buyer that wants free shipping on this item. And I might not. You just never know. If somebody really wants the item, this is a vintage, hard to find item. I couldn't find anything else that looked anything like it. And um, so I'm just going to see how it goes. I can always change that to free shipping at a later time. Um, I can also adjust the price by doing price drops. All right. So let's go over here and let's look at some of the items that I have listed. Now, I have the option to promote the listing. So what does that mean? If I click promote on this item, it is going to change. It's going to mark down the price to 80. And then it's going to kind of um, make it rank higher in search to likers. So let me show you one of those. Okay, so these are iron-on transfers. So I'm going to hit offer to liker. And I am going to offer, I'm going to do $40 and try and move this. So name your price, $40. So that is going to go out to anybody that was watching this item. And you can also send offers on your phone. So now it's going to show me the selling fee for this is going to be $4. The processing fee is $1.46. So I'm going to earn $34.54 if this item sells. So do I want to do that? After seeing those numbers, am I happy with making that offer to those buyers? So this row right here are the people that like your item. And those are the ones that you can send offers to. Okay. Bumps it up higher in the search and um, gets more eyes on your item and potentially a lower price may draw in a different customer. Okay, so let's talk about what you can sell on Mercari. So here are some of my solds. You can pretty much sell anything on Mercari. That is what is so fantastic. Again, search every area of your house, call your neighbors, call your friends, ask them for stuff and just list it. You guys make that money. Um, so you list it, you sell it, you ship it and you earn money. So once you make a sale, you pack the item up. If you do have um, Mercari shipping label, they're going to send you that label. So you're going to go over to your email. You're going to print off the label. You're going to put it on your package. You're going to ship the item. So that item is going to ship to the buyer. The buyer is going to have three days to rate you. If they do not rate you after three days, Mercari is going to rate you. You're going to get an alert that you've been rated, and then you have to rate the buyer, which is basically leaving feedback. That's what that means. And once you leave feedback for the buyer, Mercari releases the funds 
into your account, which is fantastic. Um, so again, let's look at some of my solds, lots of toys. I've got um, some jewelry here, just lots of different things. I mean, an old vintage Halloween mask. You can pretty much sell anything. Some DVDs, uh, workout tapes, anything, you guys. Like I said, it, it it's so easy. It's like one of the easiest selling apps there is. That's Mercari in a nutshell. It's so easy. Again, the app looks the same as the desktop. You put in the same different things. You just do it from your phone. So some people are phone users. They like the app convenience. Some people are like, I don't want to use an app. I'm more comfortable at my desktop or my laptop. So now you know how to do it both ways. And a lot of platforms don't have that option. So that's fantastic that Mercari offers that. All right, you guys, please put any questions or comments you have. You guys might have some tips for me. Um, let me know. Because everybody that is going to watch this usually is going to check the comments. So feel free to put any feedback, put any questions you may have down there in the comments. Um, I want to thank Mercari for partnering with me on this video. Um, I love sharing about Mercari anyway. Uh, it's a great platform to just list stuff from your house. All right, you guys, thanks for being here and thanks for watching.